Earth stands alone in the vastness of the universe as the only known planet teeming with life. This remarkable feat is not just a stroke of luck, but the result of a finely tuned balance among Earth's four fundamental spheres. The geosphere, the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, and the biosphere. These spheres interact in complex ways to create conditions perfect for life as we know it, showcasing Earth's unique status in the cosmos. This video is sponsored in part by Blue Ring Education, the makers of Next Generation Science, Metholia, and Kids Health Net. Geosphere. This sphere encompasses the solid Earth from the towering mountains and continents down to the ocean floor. It includes rocks, minerals, and the processes that shape the Earth's surface. Hydrosphere. The hydrosphere covers all water on Earth, from the vast oceans and ice caps to rivers, lakes, and underground aquifers. It's vital for all known forms of life and plays a crucial role in weather and climate. Atmosphere. This thin layer of gases surrounding Earth protects us from the sun's harsh radiation, retains heat to moderate the climate, and provides the air we breathe. Its composition and dynamics are critical for weather patterns and climate. Biosphere. The biosphere is the sphere of life, encompassing all living organisms on Earth. From the deepest oceans, to the highest mountains. It's a testament to the resilience and diversity of life, interacting with the other spheres in myriad ways. The interactions between these spheres are intricate and tightly bound, creating a dynamic system that sustains life. Changes in one sphere can influence the others, often in unpredictable ways, demonstrating the delicate balance that makes Earth uniquely hospitable for life. Let's delve deeper into each sphere and learn more about the intricate ways they interact. The geosphere represents the Earth's solid framework, a vast collection of inorganic material extending from the surface crust deep down to the core. This encompasses not only the visible landforms, such as mountains, valleys, and plains, but also the less visible layers underneath the crust, mantle, and core. These layers are composed of minerals, rocks, and metals, forming the physical foundation upon which our planet is built. Interactions between the geosphere and the other spheres are complex and vital for Earth's systems. With the hydrosphere, these interactions are evident in phenomena such as river erosion, where water sculpts the land, and sediment transport, which reshapes landscapes and ocean floors. Geothermal energy from the Earth's interior heats underground water, influencing ocean temperatures and, by extension, climate patterns. 
The atmosphere is impacted by the geosphere through volcanic activities, which can inject large amounts of ash and gases into the air, affecting air quality and global climates. Erosion and dust storms, processes of the geosphere, also play a role in atmospheric composition by moving particles that can influence weather and air quality. In its relationship with the biosphere, the geosphere provides the literal groundwork for life. Soil formation, a result of weathering processes, is crucial for plant life, which in turn supports animal species. Human activities, such as mining and construction, significantly modify the geosphere, extracting resources and altering landscapes, which affects biodiversity and can have cascading effects on all spheres. The geosphere is not an isolated system. It is deeply intertwined with the hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. These interactions demonstrate the delicate balance and dynamic interplay that sustain life and shape our world, highlighting the geosphere's central role in Earth's continuously evolving story. The hydrosphere encompasses all of Earth's water, from the vast salty oceans to the freshwater rivers and lakes, the ice caps and glaciers binding water solidly, and the invisible gas, water vapour, in the air. This dynamic system includes water in all its forms. Liquid, solid, and gas. Water's interactions with the geosphere are foundational to Earth's physical form. Through erosion, water shapes mountains, valleys and coastlines, gradually wearing down rocks and transporting sediments to create new landforms. Deposition by water bodies contributes to the formation of deltas, beaches and other sediment-based landscapes. Ocean currents play a significant role in redistributing heat around the globe, affecting both the underwater topography and the broader climate demonstrating a profound geosphere-hydrosphere interplay. The connection between the hydrosphere and the atmosphere is illustrated vividly in the water cycle. Evaporation transforms water from liquid to vapour, ascending into the atmosphere where it cools and condenses into clouds. Eventually, this moisture returns to the Earth's surface as precipitation, a process vital for climate regulation and the distribution of fresh water across the globe. The hydrosphere's relationship with the biosphere is perhaps its most critical interaction. Water is the essence of life, serving as the habitat for countless species in rivers, lakes and oceans. On land, water from the hydrosphere nourishes plants, which in turn support terrestrial life forms. This endless supply of water sustains photosynthesis hydrates organisms and forms the crux of numerous ecosystems. Additionally, the hydrosphere's influence extends to human activities, providing essential resources for agriculture, industry and domestic use. Through these interactions, the hydrosphere is intricately linked with the geosphere atmosphere and biosphere, playing a central role in Earth's environmental dynamics and sustaining life in myriad forms. The atmosphere, a layer of gases encasing the Earth, is composed primarily of nitrogen and oxygen, along with trace amounts of other gases, water vapour and minuscule particles like dust, soot and aerosols.
This gaseous layer is layered into several temperature-defined zones, the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere, each playing a unique role in Earth's climatic and environmental systems. Interacting dynamically with the geosphere, the atmosphere contributes to the sculpting of our planet's surface through weathering and erosion. Wind and rain wear down rocks and landscapes, constantly reshaping the Earth. Additionally, volcanic eruptions from the geosphere introduce gases and particulate matter into the atmosphere, influencing its composition and the global climate. As previously discussed in the context of the hydrosphere, the atmosphere is instrumental in the water cycle, overseeing the processes of evaporation, condensation and precipitation. This cycle is vital for distributing heat and moisture around the planet, thereby regulating temperature and weather patterns. Moreover, atmospheric changes particularly temperature shifts, can exacerbate ice melt and contribute to sea level rise, showcasing a critical hydrosphere-atmosphere interaction. The symbiosis between the atmosphere and the biosphere is foundational for life on Earth. The atmosphere supplies the oxygen essential for respiration and plays a significant role in climate regulation making Earth habitable. It also acts as a protective barrier against harmful solar radiation. In a reciprocal relationship, photosynthesizing organisms within the biosphere influence atmospheric composition by absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen, a process integral to the carbon cycle and climate regulation. These intricate exchanges highlight the atmosphere's role not just as a layer of gases, but as a crucial participant in the Earth's interconnected systems, impacting and being impacted by the geosphere, hydrosphere, and biosphere. The biosphere is all about life. It encompasses all regions of the Earth where life exists from the deepest parts of the ocean to the highest mountains. From the chilliest Arctic regions to the hottest deserts and everything in between. The biosphere encompasses all forms of life on Earth. This includes not just animals and plants, but also fungi, bacteria and various other microorganisms that might not be visible to the naked eye. In the desert regions, we have organisms such as cacti and camels, which have adapted to the extremely dry and hot conditions. In the polar regions, polar bears, penguins and various species of seals thrive in the cold. Forests, which can range from tropical rainforests near the equator to boreal forests closer to the poles host a diverse array of life from towering trees and understory plants to myriad animals such as monkeys, birds, deer, wolves, and countless insects. The biosphere also spans aquatic regions, both fresh and saltwater. Coral reefs, for instance, are teeming with life, from the corals themselves to the numerous species of fish, crustaceans and other sea life they host. Freshwater ecosystems like lakes and rivers are home to fish, 
amphibians, waterfowl, and many types of invertebrates. The biosphere interacts with the other spheres in numerous ways. Plants grow in soil, part of the geosphere. They take up carbon dioxide, part of the atmosphere, and require water, part of the hydrosphere, to photosynthesize. Animals breathe in oxygen from the atmosphere and drink water from the hydrosphere. The geosphere and hydrosphere also provide habitats to a great diversity of organisms. Understanding and preserving the intricate balance among the geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere is crucial for the continuation of life and the health of our planet. Highlighting Earth's singular place in the cosmos. Thanks for learning. Don't forget to subscribe!